When we last left off, we were helping out the Bright Brotherhood, and we had just returned to Novak before we head out to find everything we need for our quest. Let's stop and talk to old Lady Gibson. Now, if we ask her if she happens to have one of the mechanical pieces we need just laying around, we get these three different options. I didn't have a high enough barter or a high enough speech, so I just paid her 500 caps for it. Pleasure doing business with you. Now we can also stop and ask old lady Gibson some questions. So you're back. Now, where did we leave off? Did you ever salvage containers of radioactive material from Repcon? Certainly did. Hubby and me had an old rad meter to help us tell the difference between what you could salvage and what it'd kill you. I kept a glowing container from Repcon around here for years, serving no better purpose than a nightlight. Damn thing wouldn't sell. Then along comes the most peculiar looking fellow, all decked out in a yellow radiation suit, of which he was proud all out of proportion. The man outright asked if I had anything radioactive for sale. Imagine that. But he paid handsome for that jar of goop. Only saw him that once. He said something about heading over to Clark Field to put his suit through its paces. A strange one, he was. This'll add a map marker to our map, which is very useful. And now we know where we can get the other material that we require for this quest. A bonus is that if we go and get it from there, we can get the radiation suit as well. Sure thing. Let me have a look. As you can see, old lady Gibson has a repair skill of 65. So she also sells and buys things. She at this point had about 586 caps for me. But the part that I found particularly useful is her ability to repair, even if it's not the highest. Once we're done talking to old lady Gibson, we can continue along our way. At this point, it's time to go get us that goop. We now have map markers for everything we need to find. And we're going to head out to the east. Past the dinosaur. We're going to come to a bridge. Actually looks very cool and creepy. Kind of loving it. We do find the body of a raider here. And that kind of gives you a heads up. Hey, you're probably going to be coming across some raiders. So, good save point. Why? Because you just never know when someone's going to get a crit on you. That's why. We're going to come to where it branches off to the right. And as we head up the road here, it's going to curve around to the left. It's a, it's a pretty large area, and it is not devoid of things to aggro. So keep an eye on your right as you're coming in. You're going to see what is a raider shack. Like they've set up a little makeshift sort of area here. You can see it right up there to the right. And there are indeed people home, so just be prepared for it. 
You can see it's like a few little shacks here. You got people running out. You got people to the left, people to the right. There's a pretty good number of them here. Nice headshot. Once you finish taking them all out. Do a little clear and make sure that you've got them all. They have a lot of uh, egg timers. I'm assuming they use them for their explosives. Naughty naughty. Level 7. As we continue up the road to the left, start expecting to see geckos. These are golden geckos. And they're pretty tough. If you're level 7. I think it's so cute. The way they hold their heads. Not like that. That's just, hey, you. Like that. They're like, Arr. So, we'll make quick work for them, but be aware there are a lot more. There's a lot of golden geckos around here. Once you are looking around, find the guy who's laying on the ground to the left of the site nearest the road. He'll be, well, sort of a pack. In any case, he's wearing a radiation suit, and he'll have the group on him. And then you've got everything you need for the quest. Oh, do keep in mind radiation. So, uh, yeah, you know, you might want to take some rad acts. At this point, we'll be heading back to talk to Chris Haversam. Have you found the components we discussed? I found an entire container of the igniting agent. Yes, that's the stuff. And the container shielding must be intact or you'd be dead by now. The rockets are ready to launch, right? Yes. I'll tell Jason that the great journey can begin. Wonderful. We have everything we need to launch the rockets, Jason. The great journey can begin. Morning. Gather all. May the Creator guide my words and help me speak true. The Almighty Creator has seen fit to answer our prayers. The time has come for us to board the rockets and begin the great journey. Though it may seem that all humans despise us, the Creator has seen fit to instruct us differently. The journey ahead would have been impossible if not for the intercession of two human friends. One you, the other a long-abiding companion. Poor Chris. To our new friend, we say thanks and promise never to forget how we cleared from our path the demons who sought to stay our journey. But to Chris, we owe more than thanks. Chris, you have made this great journey a reality. From this moment forward, you will be remembered as the saint of the great journey. We shall never forget you. I ask that you forgive us, Chris, and give us your blessing. And we bestow ours upon you. Mm -hmm. Seekers, board the rockets. Take your seats. The great journey awaits. To the promised land we go. To the far beyond. Hey. Hey. Poor Chris. Well, 
I do have a radiation suit now. Hey. At this point, we can talk to Chris again. Did you hear him? My god, you were right all along. I'm no ghoul. They were just using me. Well, they'd take you if they could, Chris, but you'd die. And dying would be worse than this? Used up and thrown away like garbage? They're gonna revere you as a saint, Chris. Oh, so I've redeemed the human race, is that it? What a crock. The human race can't stand me. That's not true, Chris. You're all right. So, you want me to accompany you on your adventures across the wasteland, is that it? There's a little town called Novak down the road. Life among humans again? That's what you're suggesting? I guess... I guess it's the only chance I've got. Maybe it'll be different this time. I was never a saint before. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this, but I'll give it a try. You go launch the rockets. I'm on my way to Novak. Okay, Chris. Poor guy. Ugh, what a bunch of sounds they're making down there. Ew. Alright, we gotta find a way to launch this rocket. Yes, we do. At this point, we set out to find the computer. Which is through the test site door. And we can activate the navigation controls. It says the console seems to have something to do with the course plotted for the rockets, but you can't make heads or tails out of how it works. You need a science of 55 to use the console. Here you can see that my science was 51, but using a programmer's digest, I was able to bring it up to 55. At this point, it says that the console displays a wealth of information concerning the predicted trajectory of the rockets. So we can examine the navigation data further, set the rockets to crash into one another, or just leave it alone. We're going to examine the navigation data. Here it says examining the trajectories a little further, it looks like the computer is set to take a non-optimal route to the specified destination. You surmise that with minor altercations, you can plot a course that will take them about 12.5% closer to their intended destination. Do you wish to alter the rocket's course? You can make the change or not make the change. What you do is up to you. I ended up making the change before I set them to go. At this point, you use the yellow box to the left here and launch. And now you get to watch them take off. of the quest come fly with me and at this point we can head back to Novak we're done at this point I decided to take a trip back over to uh, Prim for the damaged Duraframe I bought and poof
you can hit companion protocol begin and you get the enhanced sensors perk ADE is now your follower and is with you very cool you can use EDE to make ammo you can also use the multi tools which will allow you to make some conversions of uh, MFC to SEC or to ECP, etc. You can also recycle some of your uh, microfusion processing cells. Microfusion cells, there we go. I'm like, why is there processing? I don't know. But anyway, you get all the companion commands, and EDE is very cool and very well worth getting. Now, you'll remember that when we first came to know back, we heard about problems with the uh, cattle being killed. Hey there. You're from out of town, ain't you? Name's Dusty. We can go over to Dusty's house, which is right by the fenced in um, Brahmin, and we can talk to Dusty about what's going on in Novak. Oh, I tend to my ranch. That's about it. Alice will tell you, I don't get out a whole lot. I heard you've been losing livestock. Losing don't describe it. It's a massacre. A few more days and there won't be nothing left to lose. Tell me what you know about the attacks. Every night around midnight, Alice and I wake up to some crazy hollering and gunshots. You'd think the world was ending all over again. But it's just one animal each night. They don't take it or carve it up or nothing. Just leave it there, all full of holes. I'll see if I can catch whoever's responsible. We'd be grateful, especially if you find them before they get my whole stock. But don't go getting yourself killed over it. Alice and I'll find a way to make do. Always have. Did you get a look at the attacker? Beg your pardon, ma'am, but them two-headed bees ain't worth getting shot over. Not to mention what would happen if half of what Nobark says is true. Best we can hope is that whoever's doing this will move on or get tired of it. I just hope it happens while we still got animals left. Whoever it is, I don't think they're from around town. Seems like they've taken to shooting from the west side. So this gives us a few clues on what we can do to help with this situation. And we want to keep in mind that they're shooting from the west side when it happens, and it always happens around midnight. So long. <laughs> we got good old EDE with us. Here's the cattle. And it'll be from the west side that the shooting is always coming from. We can wait till about midnight. And once it turns around midnight, we'll start hearing shooting. And it'll be coming off from the west. And we'll see that we've got a nightkin in a stealth boy attacking the Brahma. He's pretty tough. And once you do enough damage, he will run. So get ready to do a lot of damage fast. For me, he tried to run to the left. But I wasn't going to let him get away, so I stalked him. He heads over to near the tent and the pack Brahmin. And now you can see him trying to make a run for it again. He's pretty tough, so just do as much damage as you can, as quick as you can. And down he goes. In his inventory, you'll see the screams of Brahmin, a minigun, and some ammo. Yum yum. If you pull up your pit boy and look at the screams of Brahmin, it says most of what is recorded here is a mess of incomprehensible psychotic gibberish. It seems to express a general frustration towards a set of Brahmin 
who are allegedly keeping the author awake at night by screaming inside his head whenever he closes his eyes. And we have solved the mystery. This is why the Brahmins was dying. It was a nightkin. Oh, you strange nightkin. Find anything? At this point, we can go and tell Dusty that nothing's going to be attacking the corral from now on. Well, I don't know how you've done it, but I do know how I can thank you. Please take this, compliments of Alice and myself. And help yourself to anything in that freezer over yonder. We got more steaks in there than we'd be able to eat in a year. At this point, we get 75 bottle caps. So we get no back pain. And we get steaks if you look in the freezer, which he's given you permission to do. There are 10 Brahmin steak. Brahmin steak do not give rads, and they give a... Uh, I think it's... Oh, wait. I think they give one rad. Plus one rad, and then plus two health. About like that. In any case, it's good. Good food, good healing food. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please leave a like and hit subscribe and turn on all notifications. 